All right, still on page 281. Now I'm on the bottom of that page, and this is the chapter seven mid-chapter check. Okay, evaluate the expression. So remember, you need to use the order of operation. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. P is for parentheses, E is for exponents. Multiplication and division are tied, adding and subtracting are tied. Okay, so here, no parentheses, but I do have exponents here and here, so I focus in on just those. Okay, and then once I'm t down to exponents, I start at the left and work my way right. So 9 squared just means 9 times 9, and that is 81. This multiplication sign stays, this 2 stays, this minus sign stays. And then 4 squared means 4 times 4, and that equals 16. So now I'm left with 81 times 2 minus 16. Um, order of operation says do any multiplication and division next. So I'm going to do 81 times 2, get this answer, minus, that, minus 16 from that, and this will be your final answer. Okay. Number 7. Order of operation says I have to do my parentheses first. So 10 minus 2 is 8. Everything else stays. Order of operation says I have to do my uh, exponents next. So 2 times 2 is 4. Everything else stays. Order of operations says multiplication and division are tied, so now I just start here and I work my way left. So 2 times 8, get that answer, and then divide that by 4 to get your final answer. Okay, number 8. Order of operations says I do exponents, or excuse me, parentheses first, and then within these parentheses I have an exponent, so I focus in on just this. So this is 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, so I have 27 minus 8, 27 minus 8 is 19, and everything else stays, 30 minus 19 now, and that will give you your final answer. Okay, next one, write an algebraic expression for the word expression. Okay, so the quotient of C and 8 Quotient means the answer to a division problem, so C divided by 8. Okay, number 10, 16 more than the product of 5 and P. So product means multiply 5P, and we want 16 more than that. Number 11, 9 less than the sum of X and 5. So we want the sum of X and 5. X and sum means plus sum of X and 5, and we want 9 less than that. Whatever this is, we want 9 less than that. Uh, less means subtract. So the order does matter because this is not correct. If you do 9 minus X plus 5, that is incorrect. You want 9 less than the sum of this. So we find the sum of this, and then we get 9 less than that. Okay, so read those carefully. Okay, going to the bottom problems, evaluate the expression for the given variable. So you plug in 7, where you see the H for this problem. And then you follow order of operations. Remember, parentheses first. A for number 13, so I'll let you go ahead and solve that. Plug in the 4 for the C, so it's going to be 2 times, and then instead of C, I put 4, but the exponent stays attached. It's attached to the 4, minus 5. Then, order, then use the order of operations to find the value. All right, uh, here we have A equals 8, so 7, and you have a number with a letter right next to it, so it's multiply 7 times 8 minus 4 times 8. Both A's stand for 8. And then you can use order of operations to solve that as well. 
All right, if you have any additional questions on any of these, though, of course, raise your hand or you can leave a question in the comments section if you're not in my class. All right, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.